oh my god like oh my god oh my god things are coming to fruition you are picking that harvest you are grasping that goal you are feeling that experience that you've been wishing for it's coming to light hello mystical light beings and welcome to another lena mystic video we're gonna do some readings today if you are here on this video then this message is for you no doubt i specifically intended that anyone who comes across this video is meant to hear this message so keep watching to figure out what's next in store for you and how you can go on your journey so i was thinking we could start with some affirmations because we love to start with love so what are our affirmations today i am at peace and i stay focused these are the two cards Follow the white rabbit. This card is beautiful too. We're gonna get into the reading, but just keep looking at these cards. They're gorgeous. Love to see them, love to see them. Wake up, it's your moment. Wow, I think I'm starting to understand what this message is for, guys. Keeping up, immense effort in advance. I wonder what will happen next. So, so far guys, um, it seems like you have just emerged into a new stage into your life. It's giving a lot of 11 numbers, a lot of angel numbers with 11 in it, a lot of angel numbers with one in it, a lot of angel, a lot of angel numbers with two in it. My cat feels the need to always get right on top of my cards that I just picked out. No ma'am, no ma'am. <laughs> so a lot of angel number 11, a lot of angel number two, um, basically just angel numbers that lead up to angel number two numerology because there is a lot of faith that this stage of your life is it's going to take a lot of faith right now because you just came from a stage in your life where things were slower paced and it seemed like they were faster paced but you had to take the slower pace route and it seemed like you knew you were meant for something you knew that your spirit was leading you to something but you didn't quite like you felt close to it but you just couldn't touch it you couldn't touch it you couldn't grasp it you couldn't get it and now this is kind of the stage where you're able to touch it you haven't grabbed it yet but you're able to touch it you're able to feel it you're able to sense it you're able to connect to it but you're just this far away from grabbing it and snatching it up because it is yours but there's so much learning so much progress that's needed right now for you to get to grasping it here let's give you some examples this is like that job that you kept applying to and you couldn't get or the opportunity that you kept applying yourself to but you couldn't get and it's kind of like i'm right there i'm right there i'm learning how to navigate this world that I'm trying to get into. It's like that goal you've been working on for the past five, 10 years, and you're starting to understand, you're starting to get into the motion, you're starting to move with the flow and understand how to navigate towards that opportunity, that gift, that thing you've been praying for, even relationships, like the health of your relationship that you want with yourself, with others, with your kids, with your spouse, with your significant other, with your lover, whatever the case is, even your animals, like you are learning and you're starting to master. So this is a lot about mastering something, getting so good at it that you breathe it, getting so good at it that you are it you are the wish you are the change that you wish to see in the world and that's actually one of my favorite quotes be the change that you wish to see in the world you are becoming that vibration so that you can welcome in that thing that you've been wishing for and that thing you've been trying to attune yourself for so this message i'm loving it because some of us work so hard like most of our life trying to get to 
a certain thing and obviously we're always going to want something different as well once we get to that growth that's just like the spiritual awakenings we have we keep having spiritual awakenings because once we reach the mastery of that one spiritual awakening we are trying to obtain that new mastery for the new spiritual awakening so right now, you're about to hit that mastery part in your spiritual awakening where there's a lot more clarity, there's a lot more prospects I'm hearing, there's a lot more investments that I'm hearing, um, there's a lot more alignments and just synchronicities overall. So we love to hear that because you are worthy, you are deserving of this achievement, this mastery that you are obtaining. So follow the white rabbit, curiosity, Curiosity meets opportunity. That curiosity that you have, that wonder, that questions, the inquisitiveness that you have is going to lead you to the clarity that you've been looking for. You're learning to ask the right questions. And there's never a stupid question because each question leads us to further understanding something. You are asking questions that you might have thought were unnecessary or not going to serve a purpose, but you're starting to ask those questions and you're starting to find that they are serving you in actually understanding what's going on in your life and actually understanding what's going on around you. I'm at peace. So you have made peace with where you're supposed to be in your life. Like you've wanted it, but you've also been scared of it. Like you've kind of been scared of success. Oh, what does this look like? What does this feel like? Oh, I'm scared. Like is everybody's eyes going to be on me? Like you're not fully feeling ready for everyone to be looking at your every step. Like let's say you become a supervisor and you're like, this is a lot, like I'm not ready for everyone to be looking to me for direction. I'm not ready for everyone to put me as the standard, but your spirit is saying, you are ready. This is you, you vibrate already at that frequency. So if you're already vibrating at that frequency, why not allow yourself to be aligned? Why not allow yourself to lead if that's where you are being placed? And some of you may feel like you've never had a position like that, so how are you gonna do it? Everyone starts somewhere. You are starting here and you've been led here for a purpose. So listen to that instinctual feeling. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit, guys, because you're supposed to be here. This says I stay focused. The magpie pushes me to reevaluate my desires to ensure I seek holistic rather than material goals. So you can start making plans for your spiritual self and what you actually desire in this in this position that you're going to be put into in this mastery of your spiritual awakening you can start putting intentions that you do not feed your ego but you're really feeding your spirit through this purpose through this passion that you have and just saying to yourself i know that i can do this if i worked through spirit i don't like you don't need to work through your ego to be in a position of power and i think that's where a lot of people go wrong and they lose their positions of power or they lose that trust in the people that are following them because they just want the power and they don't really have a purpose with it like they they don't have a vision for it that's healing for all it's just more so boosting their ego so if you're being put in a position of power if you're leading a household if you're leading a family if you're leading people at your job make sure that you are not just doing it to feed your own ego it's more so about this is me vibrating at who who i'm meant to be this is me this is me leading people into more love into more passion into more purpose into more alignment and this is me understanding that i don't have all the answers to everyone's journey but i can ask them the questions that can lead them to where they're supposed to be because it's their journey and they have to be the one to answer those questions it's very similar to coaching you don't want to completely tell somebody what to do but you kind of want to boost their instincts boost their intuition so that they can learn themselves you know you're teaching them how to fish instead of fishing for them you're not going to feed them like show them how to fish you're going to teach them how to fish you're going to help them to learn to listen to their intuition and trust it and then they're going to be able to do it themselves that's what we're doing here and a lot of people think that teaching is just telling you the answer it's really not it's showing you how to figure it out 
And that's kind of the position you're going to be put in. And that's also the position that you've been in a lot in your life. The position of, I have to figure this out. And you've had support on your journey. And that support has led you to being able to support others, which is such a beautiful process. It's the circle of life, the circle of learning, the circle of lessons. Um, I'm pretty sure I hear a deer right now. I, like I'm pretty sure I hear deer. I've been seeing deer a lot. I don't know if you all have been seeing deer. I know that I have. If you have, make sure you go ahead and check out the video on my YouTube channel or check out my blog so that you can see on my website the article about deer. I just feel like deer really symbolizes that gracefulness and the acceptance during that journey that we're going through right now and where it's like I can accept where I am and I know where I want to be and I'm not going to beat myself up for not being where I want to be yet but I know that this is a learning process I know that I'm going to get there but I know I've been put in this position because I'm the type of person who can lead because I'm still following I'm still learning too and I know that to become a leader you must still be learning and to become whatever I'm trying to become I must still be learning about it because you never know it all. The more you, you experience life, the more you realize there's so much more to learn. And you are embodying that. You are learning more and more each day. Don't let yourself succumb to, I know it all. So I'm just gonna, no, we're still learning. There's so many more books to read. There's even TV shows to watch. There's even history to learn. There's even people to talk to, to learn from their experiences as well. We're always feeding off of each other and I don't mean that in an unhealthy way. I'm not talking about energy vampires. I'm talking about people who can balance the scales for each other. Like I'm learning from you, you're learning from me. This is a really healthy conversation because I don't feel like I'm just teaching you everything. I feel like you're also teaching me the ways as well. And also keep in mind that you can learn from just about anybody on this planet. Even people that you think are stupid. <laughs> Even people that you think are stupid, you can learn from them too. And sometimes you might learn what not to do or what not to be. But whatever the process is, you are learning from each experience that you have in your life. So that's something to definitely carry on this journey, to be open and open-minded to everything that you're learning. I just saw a yellow butterfly too. I also have a video on butterflies and an article on butterflies. If you're seeing butterflies, you're going through a major transformation in your life. It's almost like seeing 9-11. Uh, 211, 311, 411, 511, 611, 2, uh, 111. It's like just seeing angel number one, angel number 11, angel number two. Um, once again, we're seeing those two frequencies. Um, wow. Yeah, so 11s, twos, and nines, even completions, even uh, zeros as well. We're kind of entering out of that zeros and more into the one, two, three, four zone with numerology. Um, and I, I, I do plan on explaining more numerology on my channel. I do have some numerology videos and I do have some numerology articles, but I really want to deep dive into it so that you all can um, think of me as like your numerology and spirit animal guy. <laughs> because that is how spirit speaks to me and it's something that I've been able to decode throughout my life ever since childhood but getting back to the video I do want you all to realize that this is your moment to shine especially with this wake-up card coming out this 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 is your moment to be to shine to show what you've learned to show who you've become because you have done so much growing you've done so much loving so much nourishing even yourself and other people that this is your time to embody that light that you've fed that light that you've given to that light that you've built um you have done that work to become where you are today and i know that sometimes we feel like progress is slow and maybe we aren't doing much but when progress is slow that's how you know that things are being done especially if you've already done work and you're still working a little bit that little bit of progress is still going to take you a further way than doing a bunch at once stopping doing a bunch at once stopping you don't want to do that because it's just not as beneficial for yourself as it is to continuously learn on your journey continuously move on your journey continuously take steps up and all those steps are not going to be linear but as long as you're continuously progressing continuously aiming to progress and doing something even if it's small even if you think it's small 
it's a major step. Keeping up immense effort, advance. So things are gonna get a little bit faster now. Oh my God, like, oh my God, oh my God. Things are coming to fruition. You are picking that harvest. You are grasping that goal. You are feeling that experience that you've been wishing for. It's coming to light. Those of you who bought something, but it's taking a little while to come in, you're receiving it. Those of you who have been planting seeds along the way, things are starting to grow. You're starting to see a little bit. Oh my God, it's getting so close. I got butterflies. Oh my gosh. This is the experience that you're going through right now. And it's a powerful one because you, you and whoever your partners are on this journey, you have been working towards this and it is yours. It is yours. This is a message that it's going to work out for you because of the work that you've done and the work that you're doing and the continuous work that you're going to keep doing. This is, this is powerful. This is magnificent. This is another awakening, but the mastery of one entering into the beginner stage of another. So keep the ball rolling. What's next? I wonder what will happen next. <laughs> Just the way that I asked that is actually kind of crazy. I wonder what will happen next. So you're curious what's going to happen next. Oh my God, what's going on? There's a lot of things going on. Like we said, you planted the seeds. You've been looking every day and it's like, okay, I don't really see any clear signs that this is for sure going to work out. But because I planted the seeds, I'm going to try to trust the process. But now you're seeing something grow a little bit further. Now you're seeing a little bit more signs that this is yours. Now you're seeing that you're actually capable of being able to do it because God has put you in opportunities and places so that you can kind of show a little bit, kind of see what exactly it looks like. And you may be having a lot of fears right now. Why are you having a lot of fears? Why are you having these fearful dreams? Why are you having these fearful, anxious moments? This is because... You were so invested emotionally, mentally, and physically into something that you really wanted to work out. You really wanted to work out. And these fears are not necessarily telling you that this fear is going to happen. It's telling you that you are invested in it, that you love it. So if you really love something so much that it makes you anxious, and I'm talking about something. I'm not talking about someone right now, but if you are invested in something so much that it makes you anxious and it just makes you have butterflies, it's for you. It is a clear sign. This is for you. This is the direction that you're meant to be in. If you feel like you have to keep preparing, I, keep, I have to keep learning. I have to keep preparing for this. I have to keep getting better. This is something that your soul is invested in and that you are meant to do. So continue moving forward with that trust that this journey was handpicked for you. This journey is meant for you. And I love you guys so much. I hope to see you in another video. I'm gonna do more of these messages for you. And check out some of these other videos on my channel because I really feel like if you found this one, then a lot of my other content may resonate with you as well because we may be on similar frequencies and we may be a soul tribe. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with anyone that you think needs this message because when you share with other people, you're also putting other people in alignment as well. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.